When you think of a profession, which one is scariest if they suddenly said, oops? Anesthesiologist. The line between you're going to take a nap and you will never wake up ever again is frighteningly thin. I just imagine an airplane pilot turning on his intercom just to say oops. Bungee jump trainer. A couple of years ago on holiday a bungee jump trainer employee hooked me up then said oh, oops right before pushing me off the edge. I later found out he does this often to get people even more mortified than they probably already were. He's never seeing heaven for that. But he's going to hell with a grin. The skydiving instructor you're strapped to just before you both jump out of the plane. This actually happened to me. Bomb squad technician. Knew I'd see this one here. I was a military bomb tech before my oops. I was working on a device by hand that I probably should not have been working on. Just as I thought to myself. I probably shouldn't be doing this. It blew up in my face. A few missing digits and a brain injury later I was right. Should not have been doing that. Dentists. I already hate the dentist. Having your mouth open laying back on a table and having someone digging around with metal power tools already makes me feel vulnerable. An oops would send me into a spiral. No joke. This happened to me last month. So. I pulled the wrong tooth. I just sat there like, upside down face, 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 upside down face. What? Everything's all good though. He put it right back in and it's reattached fine. He paid for the damage. Etc. The kid that locks your seatbelt at amusement parks. A. They're generally designed so even without restraints it's pretty hard to fall out. Whoever launches the nukes. Wait. This was meant to be a drill? Heart surgeon. We say oops all the time. It's fuck you have to watch out for. Virologist in Wuhan, China. Deleted. He left his car keys in there. Edit. The comment above mine said gynecologist and they wondered what they would be doing down there to say oops. Power plant operator. Executioner. If you are the convict, you know he did not do the job right, but damage you. Also the fact you can still hear the oops. Not so fun fact most of the times it was never one swing at your head. Chopping your head with an axe is rally hard so most of the time in old ages it took one to many swings and you most likely would feel everything. Also I might be on watch list for knowing random stuff like that. Britney Spears after she did it again. Tattoo artist. What the hell you mean oops that's my damn skin man. It's permanent. Oh no. It's fine. You said you wanted it to say 30 right? Dot. 13. My son was born in 2013. Oh yeah number 13. That's what I meant. Okay. Dot. So does it say 13? Well. Yeah kind of. Sounds like 13 to me. You wrote 30? Well you. Just gotta have another kid in 2030. Surgeon. I was getting lens replacement eye surgery and after my natural lenses had been removed from my eyes. The surgeon got into an argument with the nurses over some piece of equipment he needed that she couldn't find or understand. The tone of his voice made it clear it was a time sensitive need. I just laid on the operating table staring up at light fuzz wondering if I'd be blind forever. Luckily it all turned out great. Structural engineer. This is why in serious engineering there is a strong review process. The engineer makes the calculations and comes up with the design. Then he takes his design. Talks over what he did with a senior experienced engineer. Walks through the process of coming up with the design. And the senior guy tries to find the oops. Only after the review is properly completed. With any necessary corrections made. Does the design get signed off. The main risk comes when challenges in producing the intended design are encountered in manufacturing. And the people doing the manufacturing decide to make changes to the design without going through a rigorous review process. The classic example of this is the 1981 Hyatt Regency walkway collapse. Air traffic controllers. An ATC has more lives in his hands in one shift than a surgeon does in his career. It's pretty funny when someone on position goes, shit, and everyone in the room goes silent and looks at them like WTF did you do? Happens fairly often too. Not a thread for paranoid people. No. This is a paranoid people recruitment thread lol. Surgeon who is carrying out an amputation. There even was an article few months back about a patient who got wrong limb amputated F. The person that snips off foreskin. Good news. 
the penisectomy was a success. Surgeon. Proctologist and kind of doctor really. EOD Tech. I know one and he has a t-shirt that says I'm a bomb disposal technician. If you see me running, try to keep up. I think it was one of the Tremors movies. Maybe the second one. Where the characters have to use an absolutely disgustingly large explosive load to blow up a building. One of the characters was an expert on explosives, I think. Plants the bomb and leads the rest of the characters away. The others are faster than the bomb guy. And end up outpacing him before diving into a ditch. The bomb guy catches up. Jumps the ditch and yells keep going really loud before sprinting off. Just a great little moment in a pretty fun movie. Had a tattoo artist say oops a couple weeks ago. Scared me till I realized he was joking. I asked them what letter they were on and they replied oh I'm on the C which wasn't part of the lettering. Pyrotechnician on New Year's. All the NASA workers in charge of knocking hazardous asteroids off course. That secret service agent that goes around with the nuclear suitcase. President of Russia. Oops. I did it again. I rolled up the tanks. Invaded Ukraine. Oh baby. Baby. Oops. You think it's defense. That my hands are tied. I'm not that innocent. Any type of doctor. Baba. Tattoo artist. Saw operator. Guy that loads the missiles or mortar. Firearms instructor. Power plant employees. Brain surgeon. Gynecologist. I heard somewhere that if a doctor makes a mistake, one person dies. But if a pilot makes a mistake, 300 people die. 300 is rookie numbers. You just have to oops into a large and or crowded building. Defense lawyer. Updated autopsy report. My dentist once said oops. Turns out she broke off one of her metal tool in my gum. You're bleeding because you don't floss enough. Used to work in close air support. Definitely one of the scarier things that can happen would be someone on that radio net going oops. Especially if the phrases danger close or cleared hot have just been said. A fun little extra oops is that in training we tell the pilot continue dry to tell him to fly as if he is attacking but not release ordnance. Where the phrase cleared hot means he can go ahead and release ordnance. So the phrase cleared contained dryer noise scares everyone. Laser eye surgeon. I get it but why does the surgeon have laser eyes? Nuclear power plant engineer. Fusion reactor safety inspector. The doctor delivering your baby. Oops. I misread the zip code. Dog. Why? I mean it would be terrifying to see a dog talk. But why? Till a lot of people with these jobs like to say oops as a joke. A doctor doing a colonoscopy. But then they say oops is quite terrifying. Nuclear power plant manager. Or more specifically, the guy that replaces the cooling rods. In rod we trust. Astronaut. Sniper spotter. Brain surgeons if they oops while doing open surgery. Tax preparers. I went to get a haircut one time. The lady there started to shear my hair. Eventually she said I should probably stop followed up by an oops. We never went there again.